What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. who have been called in for such meetings, some left with full purses, others with broken fingers. My friend, dreadful old dog, but half of my departed there I am. Best of luck, he's got some less thugs guarding the door. And there is only one expedient in this bill. We can hope to put down the old pranks. If the house is in earnest in its desire to put down corrupt electoral. We have visitors! Oh, 
Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddy Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be Sorry, taking place? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. It's uh, uh, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant, but discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing a fellow member of Parliament's dirty linen. What? <laughs> Please, I don't want to die. I'll be very discreet. Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. You know who I am. I'm a member of Parliament, you Christian. Password. Um, password, no passage. Baby out. Piss off. Where would we have been at Balaclava? We had turned our coats at the first sign of difficulty. Blind against the wall and shot. And deservedly so. should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick.
You okay? Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend, put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! I mean, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Otzelberg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. A letter. For me?